will tomorrow mark 54 years of independence amid an uncertain political future. But a group of unsung heroes of independence have a totally different cry. They lament the country has focused too much on political personalities such as Jomo Kenyatta, Oginga Odinga, and others. Our Robert Wanyonyi has a special report from Western Kenya. As we visited their homes in Bungoma County, the KTN News team came face to face with the grim reality of the once powerful Mau Mau soldiers. We meet Boniface Wenani, who is aging and sickly. He laments how the government has neglected their plight. <laughs> Holding on to their memories during the struggle for independence, they appeal to the government to intervene to alleviate poverty in their family. Not far from Wenani's home within Kabuchai constituency, we meet him the Charles Makosia, who fought in India and Burma, also living in a sorry state. Mi niko na tabu tangu nilikenda kwa vita, wakati nimiruti, munataka mi nifwe, ndiyo munisaitie au na munakani. Makosia narrates that he solely depends on his sons who are border border riders for the family's daily survival. Hakuna mtoto yangu hata mmoja yuko kwa kazi ya serikali. Hata kazi yoyota hakuna. Uze yangu inakuisha. Serikali ikumbuke ile kitu inanifuanyia mimi. Inifuanyie. His son Peter Makosia points out that the family was heavily disadvantaged, adding that when their father was in the battlefield, the Angus took advantage of his long absence and subdivided his ancestral land, throwing the family to their current state of life as quarters. Tunaomba tu atusaidie kwa maana vile msali toka huko alipata ndugu zake wamekaona shamba imeisha. Sasa sasa hivi tumekaa tu kama squat. In another village 95-year-old Mze John Chemiati echoed the same sentiments, urging the government to intervene in their plight. Tulipikania Kenya. Nita likuisha mwaka warupena tatu hapa Kenya kusinda watariani. Na huko ngamba tukasinda mwaka warupena sita kapilo kukasinda wachirimani huko na Japani. Nji ikawa swari. This is Kenyatta Street within Bungoma town, and while the Kenyan government has recognized some former freedom fighters and even political leaders by naming roads and streets after them, freedom fighters from Western Kenya are still living in a life of poverty almost 54 years since independence. They just feel there was a level playing ground. Robert Wanyonyi, KTN News.